given let us discuss this example so in this example they have given two norms norm 1 and norm infinity which is which are defined on x which is nothing but c close interval 0 1 see in previous videos i have told you c close interval 0 1 indicates a set of all continuous functions which are defined on close interval 0 1 so we have a continuous functions defined on close interval 0 1 so what is our target what is the question we have here so simply we have to find d1 f comma g and uh, d infinity f comma g so we have to find their value so this is the only task we have so now the question is how d1 and d infinity are defined so they are metric induced by they have mentioned they are metric induced by this norm 1 and norm infinity that means they have not given the definition of d1 and d infinity they simply mention d1 and d infinity are metric induced by norm 1 and norm infinity and definitions of norm 1 and norm infinity are provided to us getting f is equal to t square g is equal to t cube these two functions we have and simply we have to find d1 f comma g and d infinity f comma g so first of all we will try to find d1 f comma g let us start to find okay so consider okay let me write here consider d1 f comma g so d1 is a matrix induced by norm 1 getting so therefore its definition is norm f minus g 1 okay since it is a matrix induced by norm 1 so that's why it, its definition will be like this let us apply the definition of norm 1 what is it its definition is uh, integration 0 to 1 let me write integration 0 to 1 mod at a place of f i should write f minus g since we have f minus g of t dt okay so let us solve it further so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 mod uh, we can operate separately so to f of t minus g of t right dt okay so let us continue it here so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 let us put the value since they have given our f is equal to t square and g is equal to t cube so let us put these values here so mod t square minus t cube dt so now the question is is there a need of mod getting so let us check if the number is already positive then there is no need to apply mod and if there are chances of getting negative values then we will apply mod but see did you know so that uh, t okay t square okay so here uh, let me write here uh, t belongs to close interval 0 1 agree with me t belongs to close interval 0 1. so obviously 0 less than t less than or equal to 1 so i will multiply both sides by t again so t square less than or equal to t again if you multiply by t so t cube less than or equal to t square this thing we proved okay so t belongs to this one so what we proved t square is greater than or equal to t cube for this interval so t cube is less than or equal to t square that means we are subtracting smaller number from larger number so that's why definitely we will have positive values okay so it's not a fixed number actually it varies okay so t belongs to close interval 0 1 so that's why we are subtracting smaller one from larger one so definitely we will have positive values so there is no need of more so simply t square minus t cube i should write okay so this is the explanation behind it so now we will integrate integration of t square is t cube by 3 integration of t cube is t raised to 4 by 4 0 to 1 let us put 1 first so this is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 if i put 0 we will have zeros you can cross multiply so it will be 1 by 12 so this is a required answer okay so d1 f comma g we have got after that we will go for d infinity f comma g so let us find d infinity f comma g so d infinity is a metric induced by norm infinity so its definition will be like this norm f minus g infinity let us follow the definition of norm infinity which is mentioned here okay so let us follow this definition which is equal to supremum of mod f minus g of t t belongs to close interval 0 1 after that what will i do we will simplify okay we will operate separately so this is supremum of mod f of t minus g of t okay f of t minus g of t t belongs to close interval 0 1 right but what is our f of t our f of t is t square and what is our g of t it is t cube let me mention it here so this is supremum of mod t square minus t cube 
t belongs to close interval 0 1 right but as i told you earlier so what we have here we have t cube is less than or equal to t square for for t belongs to close interval 0 1 okay so we have already uh, proved that thing okay so that's why we are subtracting smaller number from larger number so there is no need of more 100 percent we will have some non-negative value so this is equal to let me mention supremum of t square minus t cube such that t belongs to close interval 0 1 okay so this is the reason behind it now the task is to find supremum that means we have to find maximum of this value so how to find maxima minima you remember in 12th standard we have already seen so we call it as a function phi of t we will solve it separately we will find its maximum value and then we will put at the end here let us do that okay so let me call it as phi let phi of t is equal to t square minus t cube okay t belongs to close interval 0 1 so that phi of t i am calling it as phi of t another function we will solve it separately okay we have to find its maxima so what will we do we will find first first derivative second derivative and then we will go further huh? so phi dash of t its derivative is 2t minus 3t square correct and phi double dash of t one more derivative 2 minus 6t this thing we have got after that okay i am following the same procedure which we follow to find maxima okay and minima so consider i am considering what i am considering phi dash of t is equal to 0 we will solve it and we will find the value of t we call it as a stationary point okay so phi dash of t is 2t minus 3t square which is equal to 0 right let us simplify we can take t common so t common 2 right minus 3t is equal to 0 so there will be two possibilities either t is equal to 0 or 2 minus 3t is equal to 0 so t is equal to 0 or 2 minus 3t is equal to 0 so t is equal to 0 if you simplify t is equal to 2 by 3 t is equal to what 2 by 3 so let us find after that what we do we put the value of t here if phi double dash is greater than 0 we get minima if phi double dash is less than 0 we get maxima we'll try for 0 first okay so consider consider phi double dash of 0 so i'm putting 0 here 2 greater than 0 therefore phi has minima getting phi has minima so you know that when phi double dash is positive we get minima and if phi double dash is negative we get maxima so here we get minima but we are interested in maxima since we are interested in supremum so let us find now i hope it is visible to all phi double dash of 2 by 3 this value i'm calculating huh? i'm putting here 2 by 3 here so 2 minus 6 into 2 by 3 okay i will help you to solve huh? that 3 3 will get cancelled so 2 into 2 4 2 minus 4 which will be minus 2 which is less than 0 so when we have negative value so definitely phi has maxima there okay there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us solve it further okay so phi has maxima at 2 by 3 so let us find phi max phi max which is equal to phi of 2 by 3 let us put t is equal to 2 by 3 here 2 by 3 square that means 4 by 9 2 by 3 cube is 8 by 27 okay we will multiply numerator denominator by 3 so 12 minus 8 by 27 so it is 4 by 27 so this is maximum value of phi okay and we are finding the same no so therefore therefore let me mention actually we were calculating norm uh, sorry d infinity we were calculating d infinity f comma g okay and we we are uh, let me write it for uh, again supremum of let me mention t square minus t cube t belongs to close interval 0 1 we were finding this value and we have called it as phi and it's supremum that is nothing but phi max which is equal to what we have got 4 by 27 so this is a required answer okay let me make it clear since you have already uh, made a screenshot of it so now you can make a screenshot of this okay so that will be the final answer thank you bye bye